Hello everyone, my name is Addie. Welcome to another stretch intensive on my yoga channel. So this stretch intensive is going to be focusing on the posture Cobra Pose, which is a really big chest opener and back bend. So any stretch intensive you come to on this channel is going to be focusing on that posture for the 15 minutes. Don't feel like you have to stay in the posture for the 15 minutes. Um, I will give a lot of variations, options for movements as we move through this class together. So let's go ahead and get started. Take your hands in front of you, your legs behind you. If you haven't warmed up your spine at all, I'd encourage you to take some cat cows before you sink into the posture. When you feel you're ready to come all the way down towards the floor, we'll take a smaller version of Cobra first called Sphinx Posture. So elbows are right under the shoulders, pull the shoulder blades together, pressing your chest forward. You want to engage your abs, your legs, your back muscles here. Squeeze, make this very active. And go ahead and relax. Fine movement here, squeezing and relax. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. Three more, squeeze, relax. Squeeze, relax. One more, squeeze and hold. And relax. If you're ready to take it further, take your hands below your shoulders. Begin to press your chest up, big arch in the back, abs are engaged, and lower. So find this movement here. Press and lower. So you'll notice me saying keep your core engaged or engage your abs a lot of the times here. The purpose of that is when you're engaging your abs, that's protecting your back from stretching further than it's ready for. So engage, engage, engage. Arch, press your chest forward, pull your shoulder blades back and release. Continue to find this movement. We'll take five, four, three, two, last one, you're going to hold it up. Continue to press your chest forward. Look straight in front of you. No need to strain your neck and look up. Continue to engage your core. As you feel yourself become more flexible in your back, option to walk your hands closer towards your body. Look up a little as your spine allows. Take your hands wide. Begin to rock a little left and right. Feel free to close your eyes. Tune in.
Experiment with bending your elbows a little. May allow you to press your chest more forward, bring the arch into your upper back. It's important here to try and find an even curve through your spine as opposed to allowing your low back to take it all. Hold pressing to the right. Maybe you look over your right shoulder, allow your left elbow to come forward. Through center, other side. And right back at center, inhale, look up. Exhale and hold. We have five full breaths here to see if you can press yourself a little deeper into this back bend. Five. Four. Three. Two, and one. Gently release all the way down towards the floor. Reach your hands out long in front of you. Take a big full body stretch. And we'll continue. Elbows come down, press your chest forward. Hands stay where they are. Begin to press, arms straighten, and lower. Continue here. We have 10, nine, keep your shoulders down. Don't let them travel up to your ears. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it up, press into your hands. Look over your right shoulder. your left three more each side right left right left one more right and left hold back at center walk your hands a little closer can you breathe Core is tight. If you like to play around here a little bit, you can mess around with tucking one foot up, but then the other. You can try right and left, right and left. Now these exercises will prepare you for King Cobra, which looks like this. So you can play around with trying both at the same time as well. You can also do this on your forearms too, if the back arch is getting too much. We have right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, 
two, one, and one. Allow your legs to relax, allow your chest to relax down. Forehead comes all the way to the floor. Allow your spine to return to a neutral position here and give it a rest. We've got about four more minutes of work on our back bend in Cobra Pose. So when you're ready, take your hands below your shoulders. This is one of my favorite moves. You get to be a little dancey with it. So start to roll back one shoulder, then the other. One, then the other. One, then the other. One, then the other. Then begin to press into the floor a little bit as you lift your chest to engage your abs. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Cross into the hands a little more, lift your chest a little more. Lift, 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 until you're all the way up. And we're rolling side to side, giving your spine some love. Take your hands wherever is comfortable. For me, my hands like to be a little wider here to allow more lateral movement. Take five, four, three, two, and one. Return to center, press your chest forward. Hold here. If you're feeling comfortable enough to allow your head to look up, and that feels okay in your spine, go ahead and take that option. Now look over your right shoulder. Switch to your left. Return to center. Walk your hands forward slightly to allow your knees to bend. Maybe you look up. Maybe you play around with tapping your toes towards the back of your head if you're feeling ambitious. Wherever you are, find your fullest expression here and hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. You made it. Nice work. Allow your spine to return to a neutral position. When you're ready, press into your hands. Take your big toes to touch and your feet wide. Find yourself in a wide-kneed child's pose. Allow your back to round slightly. Take a counter stretch. If it feels good to rock a little left and right, take that option. Mm -hmm. 
And if you have time, now would be the perfect time to do one of my low back or upper back release videos. I'll link a couple of my favorites in the description below, but it's super important anytime you're bending your body one way, as we were in this video, arching our back. Very important to afterwards work on rounding so we draw ourselves back to a neutral position. As soon as you're ready, draw yourself back up to seated. Take note of how your body is feeling now. Sit up nice and tall, bring attention to posture. Close your eyes. And we'll finish our practice today with one big breath in together. So let everything go. Inhale, both hands up. And exhale in the heart center. Thank you for joining me in this practice today. Have a beautiful rest of your day and have fun getting bendy. Please let me know in the comments how the stretch intensive made you feel and where you are in your flexibility goals. I love to hear it all. Namaste. And if you did notice just how beautiful this mat was in the video, I do want to give a shout out to the company Miss Runner, of whom I will link in the description below. They sent me this beautiful mat, and today I actually used another mat below it just because I like the extra cushion on my knees. Uh, but really awesome for travel, super grippy, really soft and beautiful. So if you have a chance, go check out their website for sure. I give them my thumbs up for this mat. <laughs> Bye guys.